and <laughs> seam. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is lay your shark on its back and then you want to push all of the organs over to the left side. Nice healthy test is there. What's this thing called that the mesentery? Mesorchium? Mesorchium. On a girl? Mesovarium. Okay. So the first thing you're going to see when you move the guts to the side, to the left, is that there's one big artery right here. Okay? That's called the celiac artery, and it's spelled C-O-E-L-I-A-C, -E celiac artery. The next thing you're going to notice is that there's this huge vein here. Mine is yellow and not colored. See this thing here? Okay, and it's running from these intestinal areas up into the liver. From the liver, the blood goes to the sinus venosus and then through the heart. Okay, this big blue vein, or yellow, it should be yellow, is called the hepatic portal vein. Okay, so on this side of the shark, when you shove everything over to the left, you have your celiac artery and your hepatic portal vein. Okay, the next thing you want to do is shove everything over to the right side. Oh my god, that's so nice. Look at how pretty that is. That's so clean. It is. It's a beautiful shark. Okay, and you're going to see this pink artery running along the dorsal part of the abdomen. That's called the dorsal aorta. Okay, and down here, you'll see that there are a couple branches from the dorsal aorta. There's one that branches off first, and it crosses over and goes to the valvular intestine. This is the anterior mesenteric artery, okay? And you'll notice that once it gets here to the surface of the valvular intestine, it changes names to the anterior intestinal artery, okay? And accompanied with that is this blue vein here, the anterior intestinal vein, okay? Yes, it is, okay? Usually, I'm glad they got rid of naming stuff after people. Because, oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so that first, first branch is your anterior mesenteric artery. It goes to the valvular intestine where on the surface of the valvular intestine it turns into the anterior intestinal artery and it's followed by the anterior intestinal vein. This second branch here, if we follow it up, it goes to the spleen. And there's another branch that goes here to the stomach. This is called the gastric artery. This big branch is called the gastrosplenic artery, okay? And that's similar to this thing here, this mesentery. What's that called? Gastrosplenic splenic ligament. Okay, good. Okay, so your second branch, gastrosplenic artery. Um, I don't think I'm going to ask. I don't. I'm not going to ask it. But the the branch from the gastrosplenic artery that actually goes to the stomach is called the gastric artery. Okay, you don't have to know that. All right, so moving further down the dorsal aorta, the next thing I want to do is pull up on the rectal gland. What's the mesentery on the rectal gland called? He's a rectum. Okay, let's take a look. You can see the artery really nice here. Okay, this is the inferior or posterior mesenteric artery. Okay, so the anterior is up here, posterior or inferior is back here. Okay, and you can't see it very well on yours, it's actually yellow on yours, but see, my posterior mesenteric artery is accompanied by a vein, and that would be the posterior mesenteric vein. Okay, so you want to find anterior mesenteric, posterior mesenteric artery and vein. You want to find the gastrosplenic um, artery. You want to find the anterior and an anterior intestinal arteries and veins. And then the next thing you want to do is go to your pancreas and peel it up a little bit. Okay, like this. 
I don't want to, like, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Oh, it's so pretty, though. It looks really nice. Okay, so this vein in the artery that's alongside of it, those are called the pancreohepatic arteries and veins. Now the vein, the vein, in mine it's colored yellow, see that? You can see a little bit of the artery here. But the vein, you'll notice if you follow it, it joins right with the hepatic portal vein, okay? So when it's coming off the pancreas, it's called the pancreohepatic vein, okay? And it joins with the hepatic portal, which brings blood up into the liver and then into the sinus venosus, okay? All right, that's it. Go yeah, for it. Find them. There are three that you can cross off. Can I see your list after we ring? Okay, thank you. Uh, All right. So you want to um, cross off the gastric vein, the lenomesenteric, and the pancreatomesenteric vein. Okay. Okay. It's if you lift up the ventricle of the heart, it looks like a white mesenteric.